Janice Page, born Donna Mae Jaden, September 16, 1922, is an American retired actress and singer. Page was born Donna Mae Jaden in Tacoma, Washington, and began singing in public at age 5 in local amateur shows. She moved to Los Angeles after graduating from high school and was hired as a singer at the Hollywood Canteen during World War II. During the war, United States Army Air Force's pilots flying the P-61 Black Widow chose her as their Black Widow girl. In appreciation, she posed as a pinup model, dressed in an appropriate costume. The Hollywood Canteen was a studio-sponsored club for members of the military. A Warner Brothers agent saw her potential and signed her to a contract. She began co-starring in low-budget musicals, often paired with Dennis Morgan or Jack Carson. She co-starred in Romance on the High Seas, 1948, the film in which Doris Day made her movie debut. Page later co-starred in Adventures and Dramas, in which she felt out of place. Following her role in Two Gals and a Guy, 1951, she decided to leave Hollywood. Page appeared on Broadway and was a huge hit in a 1951 comedy mystery play, Remains to be Seen, co-starring Jackie Cooper. She also toured successfully as a cabaret singer. In April 1947, she was crowned Miss Damsit and participated at the groundbreaking ceremony for the McNary Dam, on the Columbia River, alongside Cornelia Morton McNary, Senator Charles McNary's widow, and Oregon Governor Earl Snell. Stardom came in 1954 with her role as Babe in the Broadway musical The Pajama Game. She was on the December 1954 cover of Esquire, where she was featured in a seductive pose taken by American photographer Maxwell Frederick Coplin. For the screen version, the studio wanted one major movie star to guarantee the film's success, so John Raitt's role of Sid was offered to Frank Sinatra, who would have been paired with Paige. When Sinatra turned it down, the producers offered Paige's role of Babe to Doris Day, who accepted and was paired with Raitt. After six years away, Paige returned to Hollywood in Silk Stockings, 1957, which starred Fred Astaire and Sid Charisse, the Doris Day-slash-David Niven comedy Please Don't Eat the Daisies, 1960, and as a love-starved married neighbor in Bachelor in Paradise, 1961, with Bob Hope. A rare dramatic role was as Marion, an institutionalized prostitute, in The Caretakers, 1963. Paige returned to Broadway in 1963 in the short-lived Here's Love. In 1968, when after nearly two years Angela Lansbury left the Broadway production of the musical Maine to take the show on a limited U.S. tour, Paige was the star chosen to be the first Broadway replacement, and she admired the character, saying, she's a free soul. She can be down, but never out. She's unbigoted. She says what she thinks with a kind of marvelous honesty, which is the only way to say anything. Paige appeared in touring productions of musicals such as Annie Get Your Gun, Applause, Sweet Charity, Ballroom, Gypsy, A Musical Fable, and Guys and Dolls. In 1984, she was back on Broadway with Kevin McCarthy in a non-musical play, Alone Together. The tryout tour gave Paige her first experience of the Eastern Summer Stock Circuit, where she said audiences laughed so hard you just had to wait, and she enjoyed the role so much, she played it again in 1988 at the Coconut Grove Playhouse, this time with Robert Reed. During the 1955-1956 television season, Paige starred in her own CBS situation comedy, It's Always Jan, co-starring Mary Anders, as Janice Stewart, a widowed mother, and her two female roommates played by Anders and Patricia Bright. Paige made her live dramatic TV debut June 27, 1957, in the Latchkey on Lux Video Theater. She appeared as troubadour Hallie Martin in the fugitive episode Ballad for a Ghost, 1964. Paige had a recurring role as Auntie V, Tom Bradford's erstwhile sister, in Eight is Enough. Paige appeared as a waitress named Denise in both the seventh and ninth seasons of All in the Family. In her first appearance, she has a flirtation with Archie Bunker. She also appeared on 87th Precinct, The Pat Boone Chevy Showroom, Trapper John, M.D., Colombo, and Caroline in the City, and in the 1975 television movie John O'Hara's Gibbsville, also known as the turning point of Jim Malloy. In the 1980s and 1990s, she was seen on the soap operas Capital, 1987, as Sam Clegg's first wife, Laureen, 
General Hospital, 1989 to 1990, as Catherine Delafield's flashy aunt Iona, a lady counterfeiter, and Santa Barbara, 1990 to 1993, replacing the much older Dame Judith Anderson as matriarch Minx Lockridge. In 1982, she appeared on St. Elsewhere as a female flasher who stalked the hallways of the hospital to cheer up the male patients. Although her character said she was celebrating her 50th birthday, Ms. Page was actually 60 at the time of filming. In 1986, she appeared with Richard Klein and Bert Conby on Super Password. Page was given a star in the motion picture section of the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6624 Hollywood Boulevard on February 9, 1960. Page has been married three times. She married Frank Louis Martinelli Jr., a restaurateur, in 1947, they divorced in 1951. She married Arthur Stander, television writer and creator of It's Always Jan, in 1956 and divorced him in 1957. Page married Ray Gilbert, composer and music publisher in 1962. Gilbert died March 3, 1976. All of Page's marriages were childless.